Okay. I'm definitely excited about reading the book because it's like, I, I love reading. It's like my number one obsession in the universe and a book about like a bookstore and a secret society is like kind of like heaven. It's so awesome and I'm really excited. Okay, hi Adam. So, I was thinking overall, why did it never tell what Penumbra's codex contained? It really annoyed me for about a week, two weeks, and then I was just sitting there over there, and it just comes to me, I'm like, what if Penumbra's real codex was all the people he mentored over his life? You said you liked her. Yeah, I do, yeah. I do like her. Yeah, but like why? Yeah, yeah. Like I don't know. She's just kind of like quirky, and like she's just always like she said she didn't want to like waste her brain cycle, so she wore one outfit the whole time. And like I thought, you know, how great would that be to just wear one outfit all the time? And, like she was just a good, <laughs> like goofy character, and I don't know. I just kind of loved her. I feel like our group came up with uh, what was Robin Williams' take on singularity, and then we had what was his inspiration for Clay slash what character did he associate with most. Picture the like high speed, like bustling and thinking and computing. You just picture the focus and the cat yelling out, and then all of a sudden it just like drops. Nothing. I think yeah. nothing happens. So the failure of the computer was really one of my favorite parts because it really symbolized. It meant that technology is not the end all be all, the solution to all their problems, which is good for me because. I don't do computers very yeah. well, so there's hope for me. <laughs> so, the last question? All right, the last question that um, Mr. Sloan asked us and wants to know what you guys think. How does Robin Sloan's world in Silicon Valley come across in this story? So, Amanda. Um, it's like, it's like, um, it kind of like makes me think of like, it's just like a world filled with like opportunities and like deeper meanings because like the whole thing when he's like sitting in the car and he's listening to that tape it literally like that was his whole entire childhood so it, and then he like has this weird like deeper meaning moment and then he's like oh my god I just figured this all out type of thing and I feel like everywhere in Silicon Valley you could like be living your life and then like have this huge realization and your life could be totally different. I kind of feel like like, we can read the book, and we can read all about Silicon Valley, and yeah. we can watch the videos, and we can talk about it, but I kind of feel like you have to actually be there to really know what it's like. Well, I know nothing about Google, right? but are they really like that? I mean, <laughs> honestly. It's just, they're, you're it's just competing all the pressure. time against other people. Yeah, it's a lot of pressure, so you're <laughs> kind of, like, stressed about, like, how you have to be better than someone else, or, like, get an idea really quickly because it's so fast-paced. So I wouldn't like that just because like it would just be really hard to yeah. keep up that pace. We can wave and greet Mr. Sloan because he's going to see you guys. Hey. Hey. See you soon. Hey. <laughs> see you soon. Yay. Yay. See you soon. We'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs>